have to hand it to you. We have to grab it. Let's go. Stay with it. Grab it, grab it, grab it. That was so cool. Oh my goodness, that looked like a shark fin sticking out of the water, but that was a massive eagle ray. That was super cool. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you all are doing well. Good morning, Dar Sizzle Nation. And we are out here today out of Boynton Beach, Florida. We are on our 23 foot Sea Deck Pro Line. And I've got my dad and my brother with me today. And it's the mullet run. It's on. There are mullets everywhere. migrating down the coast of the United States and these guys go all the way down the coast under past the Florida Keys and then they breed out in the deep water. All right, let me open up the wow. So we have found pods of mullet all over the place on the beach here today. Look at this, it's gorgeous. They're all popping on the surface right here. We just saw a big manta ray. We are looking for predator fish that are eating these guys. Big tarp and kingfish, sailfish could be in here. So we're gonna see what happens here, but we got schools of mullet everywhere, that's awesome, and now we just gotta look for the big fish. The mullet run is really cool, guys, and I just can't explain it. You have to be here in person to see this, and, um, uh, you know, watching this video is pretty awesome, too. Oh my gosh! He's I on, just he's hooked on, up! He's on, he's on. I'm not sure what I got, but I got something good. I gotta go back here. Hold on, hold on, guys, hold on. Oh my god, Tarvin's jumping over got there! It. Got it. I think I got, I don't know. What are you feeling, like, Darcy? What are you feeling? Tarvin would have jumped already. Oh, slapped in the stomach. Oh, uh, probably would have jumped already. I think it's a shark. Uh, yeah. Shark. I don't know. He's not jumping. Oh, did I lose him? Yes, he's popped. I still got him. Huh. Oh, he's got teeth marks in him. <laughs> Yeah. I'm just going to try to get a mullet out on the outside edge of the school and try to get a fish. We'll see what happens. Blue fish. Yup. What's up guys? Um, I'm going to show you what rig we're using. Uh, this uh, tarpon fishing with these mullet schools is a little bit frustrating for me, for me because you're trying to get your bait, which looks like the other million baits out there, to get bit. So kind of around the outside a little bit or we'll use a weight so they get below the school. But here's what we got I'm using right here. We've been using these uh, Daiwa BGs uh, lately, and this has a, a 20 or a 30 pound uh, main line on it. This is a Tsunami uh, spinning rod, you know, we're sponsored by Tsunami. They're, it's got some pretty good stuff. Uh, you guys up north probably use it a lot. And then I got that to a 40 pound um, fluorocarbon leader. That's Tsunami fluorocarbon as well. And then I got a little weight on here. That's so my bait goes below the school. And you can see all I did was go through the weight and then around it. And that, that, you know, that'll hold like that, believe it or not. That's a little trick we learned from, uh, from a seminar sometime. And then I got a, um, an 8.0 Mustad circle hook. I got it snailed on there. And of course your bait, uh, you know, your hook goes, you know, depending on what size your bait you got. We're using big baits because we're trying to catch a big fish. And uh, now I'll show you just how we put it on real quick. Here's my bait. And I'm just going to go right through the upper lip here. I like to go back a little bit to get it through the, a little bit more through the skull or through the head. A little bit back further than that would be better, so when you cast it, it doesn't fall off. But uh, there we go. I'm going to throw it out there and just leave it. Darcy likes to cast around and have a ball, but I like to leave it and see what happens. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Load it up. Load it up. You can never have enough bait during the mullet run. Why not? I'm going to drag him down this way. I got a ton. That's too much. Okay, we'll throw some out. Okay. No problem. Watch their tails come out of the water. There's like 10 tarpon right here. There you go. Oh. Little tarpons. All right, guys, let me give you just a little update as to what is going on over here. But we have moved up the beach. We went north um, because the area we were at before, the tarpon kind of just, they just stopped going crazy and jumping all over the place. Oh. So we just came across another. 
another massive school, and there are a dozen, at least a dozen tarp in here, all different sizes, jumping out of the water. We got awesome B-roll shots of these fish just doing backflips and feeding like crazy. And these tarpon roll through these schools, and they easily pick up 20, 30 fish in one swallow. So they are just gorging on mullet. And there's other fish here too. There's blue fish I've seen. There's jack crevals. There's everything in here just trying to feed on them and just get fat. So I, we got our baits back out, and we're just patiently waiting. And hopefully, one of these tarpon want to take one of our baits. But this is incredible. All right, guys. So there's also a ton of byproduct around here. By you know, what we might call trash fish. This is obviously a blue fish. And uh, well, now I got to take it on the rope. But while Darcy is trying to catch a real fish or a tarpon or a snook. You know, I just started throwing this Zuri. Ow! You gotta be careful. Um, I need a pair of pliers, but um, you know, this ton. I just caught like two, two or three jacks and this little blue fish, which you can eat. Um, I'm gonna get a pair of pliers, but uh, you know, just throw those lures around the outside, and you'll catch a ton of fish. Oh, there we go. <laughs> See, I told you. So, you know, if you're not catching a tarp, you can take the kids out here and just have fun all day long. There we go, another blue, little blue fish. You got a fish? I got a fish. You're a big jack, man. Oh, nice. Tarpon. Come on. 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 First snook of the day, and my dad caught it all by himself. <laughs> this is awesome. Beautiful fish. Check out dad's fish. Score, man. Right. Awesome. Let's go uh, measure him real quick, and then we'll get a picture. Look at his tail. Okay, let's get a measure on this beautiful snook. Right on the zero, and this is a slot fish. Look at awesome. that. Dad just landed right. a slot. That is awesome. It is snook season. He's right on the 30. These fish have to be between 28 and 32 inches long, so this guy is right in the middle. We're gonna keep him, right? Absolutely. Dinner. Let's do it. We got dinner, guys. <laughs> awesome. Good job. It's Jetty reeling. He wants to take line. Let him take line. And then you don't need to pump like that. Just keep your rod tip up and reel. Don't pumping. No pumping. All right, we got Connor on a fish now. Good job, you're gonna keep the rod tip sideways and he's gonna go under, we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna get him up. All right, hang on. Connor, keep your line down. Come on. All right. You got it. I'm gonna bring, hand it to you. Always hand me my rod, guys, come on. No, you have to hand it to you. You have to grab yeah. it. Go! Thing. I'm it's trying. all right, stay with it. Grab it, grab it, grab it. You got it, so Keep your rod tip down, rod tip down, real. Rod tip down, real. Got tip down real. All right, let him run. Let him run. You want to keep that line away from that. That's the right off. Perfect. Let him run. How you doing, Connor? Doing good, man. Hanging in there. <laughs> Hanging in there. Nice wow. look, Connor. Nice look. No, no, no. Use the net to look for you. Okay, hold on. Try, try to swim. Let, let him run. Let That's him right. Go. Let him swim in here. Swim in this way. Put him right. Try to pull his head that way. Nice. Nice! Slob, Connor! Good job! <laughs> That's how you fish for snook, man. Awesome! That is an overslot. Let me get the net. Good job. Nice job! Yeah, we're Killed it, down. Connor! Killed it! That snook, he's definitely close to 40. He's like a 36 or 38. He's way over slot. Wow. Sick fish. Good job. All right, circle hook kind of got wrapped around there, but that's no big deal. All right, what do you think about that snook? Pretty nice, Did nice size. Did he fight hard? Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. Let He's... me just measure him for you real quick, and then you take some pictures with him, and we got to release him. Let's check him on the C-Deck ruler, see what he is. He's on the zero. That is an overslot fish. That's a 35-incher. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful fish, awesome, Connor. Connor. Good job. All right, uh, gonna hold him like this, support his belly. Grab him tight, real tight right there, support his belly. Grab his mouth. Turn his face over here. Hold on to his face, put his face in the water. He's ready to go. All right, give him a second. Just hold on to him for a brief second. Get his mouth all the way in the water. Yep, good job. You think he's ready? Yeah, he was jumping before. There he goes, hey, beautiful. There goes your dinosaur snook. Huh. Woo! Sweet. All right, guys.
have an awesome day of fishing once again. We are just so blessed and uh, truly lucky to live here in South Florida and do this. And it's a Tuesday. There's no one else out here today. We're the only ones here at the spillway, and we're slaying it. And uh, now I'm just super, super happy. I'm not upset that I didn't catch a snook. I'm very happy that I got to put my dad and my brother on a snook, and we got a slot in the boat. So can't complain. You really can't. Almost caught a tarpon, but oh well, that is what it is. So thank you guys so much for watching our videos. We appreciate you as always. You're the best fans ever. And um, if you're interested in anything, I'll link it down in the description below. Check it out. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.